my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about courses and free hosting solutions solutions that you can host a course online there's a bunch of different ways to do it and we're going to talk about that but first don't forget to subscribe and if you're watching this live go ahead and comment let me know where you're watching from and what's your course about what are you trying to host that you want to host for free and why do you want to do it for free I I started online and I and you know one of the things is that it's it's like there's not enough money for all the tools that you need right and that's why I look for free solutions there's always places to spend your money right there's a lot of things that you need to do to build a business online and one of the things is you know how do you reduce your expenses right until at least you start to generate some income I know that some will say you know if you're not willing to spend then you're not going to make an income and maybe that's true uh, but you know if if we got to start somewhere you got to learn the tools and it's certainly better if well I guess it depends on your point of view for me it's better if I can learn it for free because I figure that it'll take me a while and maybe that's just you know mindset thing maybe maybe if you spend money it's supposed to help you to learn it faster I mean every to each his own right but for me that's kind of what it's about and I want to help you to have the free solutions out there and I want to talk to you about the different ways you can host a course for free in 2020 all right but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so you have a course that you want to host and you don't want to spend a bunch of money because you're still learning and you're not sure if if it's if it's going to make any money and you want to you don't want to spend before you generate some income so and or maybe your your course is you actually want a free course you want to host a free course so why would you have to spend money to host a free course so we're going to talk about how to do that what I've done in the past and the different ways you can do it and maybe uh maybe uh, that'll help you to figure out your way that you want to do things and yeah so let's get right to it let me just share my screen and show you a few things uh, that I've been using to host courses let's just go here recording uh, a video sorry about that let's just go back to the main page and share my desktop okay so first of all if you've been following me for any length of time you know that I have a hosting platform now that's awesome it's a hosting platform you can host your own courses I've been I've been posting my courses on there and I've been hosting my own you know my own stuff on here right and that's definitely one place you can go you can go to lots of different hosting platforms out there but the thing about hosting platforms you got to learn how to use them you got to learn how to do it and one of the things that you learn online when you're starting your business online is the social media platforms right so one of the first things you can do let me, <laughs> let me just go to Facebook here one of the first things you can do is you can actually host a course on Facebook lots of people use groups and posts on Facebook to actually to actually create a course can I get rid of these okay so basically what you want to do first of all you want to have your Facebook account right you want to create a Facebook account if you don't already have one uh, I'm not going to cover that right here but basically it's it's pretty straightforward if you need to search for it just google you know how to create a Facebook account but it's pretty straightforward so what you're going to want to do in Facebook is you want to create a group so once you've got your Facebook account if you're using the new Facebook uh, let's just make this uh, so that it fits the screen better here uh, if you're using the new Facebook uh, page this is the new what it looks like now right the new Facebook has got this kind of streamlined white background look um, you can go to the old format if you, if I go up here if you're still on the old page um it'll look like it looks like this right this is what Facebook used to look like it probably it might still look like this for you depending on when you're watching this but basically uh the the group creation is up here you click on create and then whoops I guess we got to wait for it to load so you click on create and then over here you would say create the group right so if we're on the new Facebook which is over here if I go back to the new Facebook 
let's just give it a second the new Facebook switch to new Facebook so the new Facebook is basically it's very similar it's just over here in let's just wait for it to load I guess it's taking a bit to load because it's my internet is slow is there some I don't know if there's anything going on on my internet but it's uh I guess it has to load the whole thing before you see anything okay so up here you're gonna have a plus button you just quick click on the plus it'll be basically the same thing you go to group to so create a group so when you're creating a group you got to give it a name and you call it you know whatever whatever it is you're trying to what like your course say you have a course on weight loss you have a course on generating income online generating leads you would give the group a name that kind of lets people know what it's about so you know um generate leads um with free resources right I can do that create privacy it's either public or private and there's no I guess there's a secret oh, okay that's how they do it now there used to be a a secret versus public there used to be public private and secret group now there's public or private and then in the private you choose one of two which is visible or hidden right so it's basically the same thing as a secret group um, the benefit of a secret group is that nobody knows who's in the group until they join the group and nobody can find the group either so you might not want to do that if you're trying to build a uh, a group that you're you've got a course that you're trying to give people things you might want to make the group visible so that people can search for the group if they're looking for you know like say somebody's looking to generate leads and they want to generate leads with free resources they might search for that in 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 Facebook right and then choose friends you can add people to your group when you first start the group um I'm not sure if you can it used to be that you couldn't create a group with nobody in it well I guess you still can okay so now I've got this group I created this group I can add a cover photo I can start a conversation I can do things and in it and all that right and the idea with a group is that you want to bring people in you want to have conversations you want to have engagement you want to create things and then you can post what they call units and they're just either videos or text or anything you want and they're basically a sequence of things that you want people to go through to learn whatever it is you're trying to teach right so it can be uh anything it doesn't really matter but this is one of the free places where you can create a course it can be a course it can be a series of lessons that teach whatever it is you're trying to teach right so that's one place where you can do it now the other place obviously is YouTube so you can have a YouTube let's just go to my YouTube channel I'm gonna make that uh, that's not the right let's go here I want to put this in the same tab whoops I missed I missed that up here I'm gonna go back to here first uh let's move this one here okay and then I want to do this and I want to make sure that this is I just want you to see the whole thing right um I should have probably just went to YouTube but in YouTube there we go okay in YouTube again it's the same thing I this is where I host all my videos this is where I post all the videos and then I share them on the blog but basically it's a place where you can upload videos you can share videos and the, the thing about YouTube is that it's really not a place to organize I mean you can have you can set up playlists right you can have playlists uh I could for example go in here I could go let's just do that let's say I want to create uh I want to create a new playlist I'm going to call it tick tock tips for example I'm going to create this and then in that playlist I'm going to add videos that uh that 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 I that are about my TikTok so I'm going to just go in here uh, how do I how do I add I forget this is one of the things that I haven't done in a long time so I'm actually not even sure how to uh add videos this is edit title under plus no create a video post no let's just upload this is kind of silly I feel add video oh there you go so the little three buttons there you click on the add videos in here and I'm just going to search for my you video search your YouTube videos so I guess you can create a playlist with everybody else's stuff right but I just want to uh I actually want to let's say I go over here play playlist settings is going to make it easier for me 
it's going to be uh new videos to top of playlist no advanced settings there's a place where you can say I want you to put videos that have auto add I want to say add rule title contains TikTok. let's just see what happens and then save then he's going to basically say I found 23 videos in your list that have TikTok in the title let's just do that I'm just going to go done and now I have all these TikTok videos whoops my ordering manual that's fine I'm just going to go here I've done them now they now I have all these videos in this playlist so now I could send this playlist as a link to people right this is <laughs> the link well not exactly but uh this could be I could send this this playlist to people and they would just watch the videos and the the benefit of the playlist whether it's on Facebook on YouTube is that when somebody plays a video through the playlist if I go to this video here for example right I'm just going to pause it how do you record okay so if this if they play this right if they watch video equals list if they have a list equals in the list then that means that they're automatically going to get the next video in the playlist automatically so they don't they don't they won't go to somebody else's video because it's the same topic or something like that right it's going to stay in your it's going to stay in your channel right so you really want that you want people to stay in your channel right so that's the playlist and that's YouTube so you can use YouTube to have courses that way but the thing with YouTube is that you, it's not it's not easy to kind of add additional things and to get people to engage it's it's really not I, I find anyways not really meant for you know that kind of stuff um okay so that's two different ways to have a free content or free course hosting other than just hosting platforms right then there's a ton of hosting platforms I'm not going to mention any names because everybody has different opinions on the different platforms some of the platforms allow for free courses but you can't generate any income from those courses uh, without uh, external um, integration right so for example you could create a PayPal button for people to send you money and then you send them the link to the course only if they pay you but that doesn't prevent them from sending a link to the course to their friends without them having to pay for it right um, some of the platforms will take a percentage of your income or they will take a minimum fee things like that if you're trying to sell your course um, other platforms they don't even allow you to do it for free you got to pay a monthly fee just to host a course uh, so there's different like I said all the platforms have different things they have different features different benefits so you know the platform uh, Click eCourse the one that I built does allow for free courses uh, let me just show you here if I go to the plans uh, link right here um actually I should probably put that folder here as well let's just move that here because I want to move it to this one there we go okay so now I can move it here there we go okay so Click eCourse has got a bunch of different options uh, different features these are the plans so anonymous free plan beginner plan flush plan all these different plans and uh you can host um you can host where's the courses uh, max number of courses maximum courses so on the free account you can have two courses on the more the ten dollar amount account you have 10 courses 30 so the number of courses you can host it depends on the account even on the free one you can host a course right um number of lessons and there's different like I said five minute videos versus 10 minute videos that kind of stuff that you can host uh storage and anyways there's all these features that are explained in here right but on click eCourse it's as simple as just clicking on the little plus here to create a new course and then you give it a title you give it a cover image you give it a price if you want to have a, an income you make it downloadable or not whether it uses embedded player or not what kind of access uh, seo header code that kind of stuff it's all there that's how that's like I said it's a free option definitely a free option um here let's just uh click eCourse so that's clickecourse.com right 
so you can have your course hosted there and you can you will you just need to have a video on YouTube or on Facebook you have a video on Facebook you have a video on YouTube you can then create your course here all you got to do let's just say I'm gonna uh, create let's just say I'll just leave that as a test course right for 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 episode episode number which episode number are we on here we are on episode number 188 I believe let's just make sure I'm just going to go here take a look at something here I've got I've got it right here uh, mm -hmm. I should have checked uh, before obviously I should have uh, but uh let's just uh, so episode number 188 oh my 188 188 okay so now I just I can put a description in here and all that I'll just click on next uh, I can have search engine keywords like free free course course hosting I can have uh, online course hosting so these are keywords so that you can use SEO at your whenever you share the course uh the hashtags um they're they're meant for sharing on Instagram places that use hashtags in the header code you can put a header that's basically JavaScript and special code there's also the conversio bot um like you see down the bottom here this uh, this person here this is a this is a chat bot you can actually have your own chat bot on the on the page uh then categories you can set the different categories uh, I gotta fix the colors here but lead generation you know course creation so you can put these categories in here under cover image you would choose a file here and you just upload a, a an image let's just say I go into course income secrets and I'm going to go into a previous course it doesn't really matter I'm going to do this one here and I'll just put this next and then you, it'll use that then it, you can set a price if you want to sell your course for something let's say I sell this for 149 right I can give commission to people I can give people 90 percent commission or whatever I want right uh, and then you can allow downloads or not video and audio and under embedded video if you're using the free account you got to use this because you have to have the video on YouTube or Facebook first and but you know this is basically uh and then over here you can set whether the course is available to anybody whether it's only people that are logged in whether it's only people who bought it whether it's unlisted which means it won't show up in any searches but you'll be able to send links to people and while you're editing it you just have it set to new course right under sales it's a basic ability to put a sales page and then under site is ability to share it on multiple other sites so we'll just do that for now and um all right so now what we have is a course with no lessons I'm going to add lessons in here I go in here and I'm going to put a YouTube video I'm going to put this YouTube link here to be one of the videos all I got to do is paste the link right here and then I just say save right I create a video now I have a lesson with the video on here um, and it'll show me the it'll download the video it'll download the audio and if I go back to the course now well actually it's not I gotta let's just edit this click on the edit right here I gotta make it a published video save it and now if I go to the course I can see I have a lesson in here now the cool thing about using a site like this is that if I let's say let's add another one let's go to the let's go to the where's the I don't know let's go to this one let's add another how do you one. record a video now as you can see right here I'm using these just these links here inside of here I'm going to make this published right here I'm going to do this now I have a I have two videos in the course two lessons right and I can add another one I can click on add new lesson right here I'm actually gonna add a third one 
we're going to go to number three let's go this one Beep! actually that's a long let's do one of the shorter ones let's do this one adding music I don't want to do a super long one it takes longer to download obviously right so we're just going to use this one this link here go back to here I'm going to make this another published I put the url and save it all right so now I have three lessons in my course now obviously you want to have a course you want to have the right text you want to have the right description you want the right title you want to have the right uh details and you know right now it just says adding music or sound for every single piece of the video but if I go to the course now I have three videos now the cool thing about using a hosting site is this if I oh I guess I didn't realize these are the same too if I go here and I start playing it let's turn the sound off and let's start playing. okay so when I start playing it I'll just go skip ahead to the intro here this is a little intro video that shows up on your free when you have a free account you know we do have to do some things to generate some income for us but as you can how see, how do you record a video using you, the tap sorry it's showing you the video right now from YouTube as you can see it's a link to YouTube you you can do watch later you can do the subscribe all these things are there and if I skip ahead to here and I just now I go I pause it and I go out of the course I go back to the course right now if I go and I say resume course oops start course it'll play the video where it left off right which I guess didn't work because it wasn't I didn't save it the right way but let's just go back here my, yeah I'm logged in okay so now if I go back to the course sorry I'm messing that up but if I go back to the to the video that I promise that works it'll work when you try it out it's supposed to go to wherever we were when we were listening to the video I hate that when that happens right it always happens it seems to always happen every time I'm trying to do a training on here to show you how to use this site it uh, but anyways that's the idea right it, it'll keep track of where you are and that all the all the online courses obviously are like that and the benefit of that is that your student your person that's watching your course that's learning from your course if they're on YouTube or on the on Facebook you know looking through your courses your lessons it's not you, they can't easily keep track of where they were right and that's one of the things about why you need to be uh using a course hosting site I mean they're the free options are free but you want to have you know metrics being able to keep track of your students who is it that's wa watching your lessons how many people have watched it how much they've watched it where they're at and then you want them to be able to keep track of where they are because you know if they 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 listen to lesson one and two or three and you got 10 lessons and then they they go back to their their job and they forget that where they were well they'll have to start over right but with a course hosting site like Click eCourse you can actually have them to you know get right to their to where they were right so I mean that's what that's the free options there's different options out there there's obviously there's even more options than that there's a bunch of different course hosting platforms like I said you can use YouTube you can use YouTube to host free courses free videos and then you can use a um a wordpress blog like say we go to my blog you can actually have a free wordpress blog and then on here you can go to uh the you can go and edit and create a page for a course so say for example I go to my pages and I just want to create a new page it's going to be a page with you know your course uh, free lead generation solutions right welcome to oops welcome to this course on right welcome to this course on how to generate leads for your business for free right so uh in here then I'm going to post uh, some URLs to some videos I'm going to say lesson lesson one 
and then I'm going to post a link here let's go to here I'm just going to use if I go back to the playlist let's go back to the playlist if I go to the playlist I just want to do this um, how about not really sure I guess this would be the link copy link and I'll just put that here this can be my lesson number one and then lesson two right I can create a new I can create a page just like that I can just go in here let's say I want to have this one copy link oops over here in my blog okay lesson two right lesson two or lesson three oops I guess it's the same uh the same video but anyway that's because it's a playlist right so I, I should go back to my videos and and search for like this video here for example right copy get shareable link lesson three is going to be this one so you can have multiple lessons in a page like this and then you can just send them the page right you can just send them this page and that can become uh you know you just send them this link right here this will be the page they're going to see this when they go to your blog they're going to see this course welcome this course obviously you want to make it uh, with the bright text and all this stuff and you want to have the videos properly done and all this but you can send them this this is another free option you can have a free wordpress site on click ecourse even right if we go to click ecourse you go to your profile after you've created your account under blog you can actually create your very own blog site right here my mind is saying I have 541 po 561 posts 35 four pages whatever and it's already set up but uh that's where you would set your own WordPress site for free all right so hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions please reach out I would love to help you with any of this and if you're wondering how to have free resources and if you know anybody who needs to hear this then please go ahead and share I'd really appreciate it. I know they would too and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time.